He doesn't have a match today, so we're gonna need to check the weight. So I got a buy on my bracket uh, because usually the number one seeds uh, get a buy, and uh, I had 14 people in my bracket, and I do not have any fights today, so I only fight tomorrow straight to the quarterfinals. So I'm here to wait in. I'm allowed to wait in today, just like all all the other competitors in my bracket, and then uh, I come back and I fight tomorrow. So that's why I'm here and. I'm also here to watch my teammate compete in the open class. Jonathan Alves is going to be fighting uh, probably in the next five minutes. Um, so I'm here to support and also to keep my mind in the competition. So it's good to get the environment in and, and get acclimated. So tomorrow it's, you know, it's go time. First match felt good, so I was able to to do my game, do what I was what I was expecting to do. Uh, the guy the guy was pretty strong. It was hard at first. He was just trying to overpower me, but uh, as my my professor say, I just had to take my time in the beginning because eventually they're gonna get exhausted, and then that's what happened. I got exhausted. I was able to to get to my positions. I was able to play my game. And now uh, and uh, I was able to get the submission. Now. I'm just gonna move on to the second match, so I'm excited for it. I'm just gonna take match by match, so that's how it should look like.
going out of the plane that I normally use, right? Like I normally don't put the lighter athletes to compete in the open class, uh, but uh, he wanted to compete more. So like uh, I have been pushing him to do as many competitions as possible, and uh, it was really good because I felt that he did really good in the open class. He competed against uh, two like ultra heavy or super heavy guys, and uh, did really good. I feel like that alleviated a little bit of the pressure and he can go to the division with like kind of like warm it up, it was really good. And uh, the first match in the division, he scored a lot of points and got the submission. I think it will be hard to stop him in this division. Like he's uh, in a very good uh, mindset and uh, he's very efficient now with his technique. Like he's uh, able to use like the pressure passing you guys saw a lot. Like I wanted him to work that. And uh, I want you guys to pay attention and watch that because uh, it's uh, it's impressive. Like I watch every day in the in the training. I, his guard is amazing too, but I like his pressure passing more. Uh, I was competing in the open class in the morning, so I had two matches. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way uh, I was expecting to go, but that's all experience. Just change for the next time, make it better, just sharper in my game. And then now I just fought my the lightweight division, so I won my match by submission. Felt good, felt confident. Now I uh, just qualify for tomorrow and see how it goes. Wonderson, which was amazing too. Uh, this middle half division, it's so hard, man. Like it was, uh, and, uh, the person that wins uh, this uh, this bracket can be confident that they are gonna have a good chance at Worlds because uh, I never seen anything like that for parents. Like it's incredible, like really good. Like a lot of new generation, like young, uh, good athletes, fun to watch. I was excited when I saw the bracket. Uh, Pablo is on the other side of the lightweight uh, division. He also did amazing his match. Like I liked it a lot because uh, I I wanted him to play top two. He's a good guard player, like very hard guard to pass. But uh, since he got to AOJ, you have been working a lot on top to complete his game. And uh, he was able to show today. He had a really good match. He was able to move a lot, get a lot of leg like, traps, and eventually made the per uh, his opponent, like, I think, turtle and uh, and finish. Pato, Pato got a submission today. It was like a, I think he put the kid to his lip. It was really good. He closed the guard and uh, overhooked the arm. Got a choke. Was, uh, that kid has a lot of potential. Like I, I, I'm sure, like he can do much more than we already saw. Which like it's amazing. Like he has been winning competitions since I know him in the ju juvenile division. But uh, just by watching him training, uh, he can do much more. He can uh, he can display like. Uh, so much jiu jitsu that I, I, I want to help to like get him to this next next stage. It's my mission with him. He was always good. I think like uh, hard to get the credits for uh, his wins, but I think like I can influence him to perform better and uh, keep winning, but uh, be more dominating. And uh, that's the goal with, with him. When you have a room with all those guys, man, like uh, everyone just started getting so good. Zach, like, he competed, uh, he had one match and uh, got submission to press pressuring the opponent from top until the person turtle and uh, and uh, get submission. Come on, 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 come on,
goals in the finals too was really cool. She had two uh, good matches. She's she's a hard uh, a hard guard man. Like she's like that. Normally, like you see the girls playing more of like the spider and close guard, like very like uh, it's always like kind of like the same style of guard. But Margot has a lot of like the lapel tricks and like inverted guard, and uh, it's fun to watch. Like I was the one that influenced her to go to this division. She normally competes at uh, lightweight division. I wanted to see her at featherweight for pants to make our decision for worlds. So, uh, that was my call. I thought that was uh, she did really good. She made the weight and uh, won both matches to get to the to the finals. Let's see tomorrow. Well, first is my first time in the featherweight category, and honestly, it's a it's a category that's well suited for my body type, I think. But I needed a couple more weeks to really like get down a little bit more naturally. Been water loading this week. <laughs> I was point four over about 20 minutes before my first fight was going to happen. Then Diogo Hayes, Mr. Baby Shop, comes up to me looking for a belt. He's like, "Oh, do you need that belt?" I was already at a point where mentally I never want to quit, but I was like, "I want to help." Obviously, I want to help Baby Shark. I'm, I'm gonna give you your belt, my belt. I don't know if I'll get it back, but let's see what happens. So, honestly, I've been chasing the feeling since 2021, where I managed to get into the finals uh, with Tata Ribeiro. So, after last year's really disappointing run at, at the Pan Americans, I've been really like gunning to get my chance to get back into day two. So, I'm super, super glad that we managed to get to day two this time around. And uh, hopefully, we won't disappoint. I'm gonna give it my all tomorrow. I'm super, super excited to start 2023 on the right foot. I, I think like this is the core of everything that we do, right? Like uh, uh, since we started AOJ, my mission was to develop a very strong kids program that would lead to juveniles and then uh, eventually black belts. We are, uh, I think we are harvesting the black belts that started as a kid in the academy right now. And uh, this is like the first couple of years, like I think we're in the second or third year that we're like, we're getting black belts from the academy more black belts joining the academy too which it's good and uh, the juveniles these are the kids that you guys should be watching because they're gonna be the black belts of the future like not too long ago like uh, these guys like Mateus, Jonathan, Tynan like all these uh, these guys were in the juvenile and they were like doing highlights so whenever we post somebody the any juvenile like you can uh, you can make sure like this kid has a lot of potential and it will be uh, will be a black belt uh, star in the future. All right, any, any message you want to say for the vlog or for, for tomorrow? You know, we have one more day left, anything you want to send out? Man, it's just super high level, right? I think it's really cool to see. I think the whole uh, Jiu-Jitsu community, it's, uh, like, it's supporting a lot Gi Jiu-Jitsu now. I see a lot of like a big movement to put the, I think like put Jiu-Jitsu, uh, Gi Jiu-Jitsu like back in the mainstream. And uh, I think it's working like, like so much talent here. like. like all the brackets are filled with uh, are filled with uh, a lot of good talent, and uh, for sure, like the finals will be will be amazing. Like I'm super excited to watch. I, I love jujitsu, man. Gi or no gi, I always watch to, to watch. I work with uh, with jujitsu every single day of my life, and uh, for me to coach and be here watching uh, an event of uh, this level, it's 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 just amazing. It's, I I love doing it. Thanks, Steve. See you tomorrow. Thank you.